Hi guys, welcome to our Springbok Media Conference. Uh, we've got Ox and Ben Jason. Please raise your hands for questions. Uh, and please guys, one question at a time. Um, and then we can go, we can just do maybe at the end a little bit of uh, a little bit of our pickouts. And if Oxy wants to surprise us, he can as well if he wants to. Uh, although he doesn't generally. So cool. Hands up uh, for questions. Hello? Yeah, that's fine. Um, is this type of test uh, the one that schoolboy dreams are made of? I mean, there are a lot of tests you can apply in your life, but saying yes to all blacks is something different in South Africa? Yeah, definitely. I, I, I agree with you 100%. I think that's a dream. Um, that's, the, that's the standard, I would say. And that's also like when you, as you grow up, a Borg fan, uh, that are the, that's the big moments and you almost... Not almost. You plan your Saturday, and some people plan the week around the <laughs> watching the box test, and then uh, having having to be able, or being able to experience it myself. I'm, I'm looking forward to it a lot, and I think it really is. It is a real deal. Jason, just uh, have you have you taken a moment ever to sit back and just say, I mean, geez, this year has been amazing for you. Now you get to start against the All Blacks. Have you have you sat uh, have you sat through them all? Um, I think I've been. I've been living on the on the momentum and the excitement. I, I don't think that moment has come fully where I can sit back and be like, "Hey, this has been massive." I'm, but I'm enjoying the I'm enjoying the moment and uh, trying to make the best of it and and trying to serve the team well and enjoying it along the way as well. Have you felt felt the difference in the speech as opposed to the other test speakers in terms of just the sign? Um, for, for myself, it was quite quite a bit of nerves from early in the week, but um. I think it's just uh, the the intensity, the urgency, goes, the, the the effort that goes into the prep. Um, it's up there, but we have been doing well with the prep for the previous test as well, so it's it's similar to me. Fox, for basically everyone here that will never have the privilege of scrummaging in a test match, especially against All Blacks, can you just describe that? Mano in mano situation of looking at your opposition in the eyes before you go down the scrum and the emotions going through you and what little tricks you might play to sort of upset them and and then once you've kind of scrummed them to hell and back <laughs> how that next scrum is and if there's fear and if you see that in in his eyes can you just explain that situation for us i think you know for me it's like the scrum is very personal naturally and most pops like take it very personally and you always know what the first one is probably going to be you're like you there you think you know what you're there to actually represent your country and you take part in that and from there for me it's like <laughs> there's no way like you, you you're gonna have to like you're gonna your checks will be better than mine and for me like i have to prepare as well as i can and yeah then obviously they like teams will definitely prep as well but in the end, it's like all about the who has the biggest pride and who's the most pride. And after the first scrum, it's always like, okay, we feel each other out. The second scrum, I think that's when you know, you know what, you're in for a long day. And whoever, whoever sings lost, or whoever sings the longest will sing lost. So I think for me, but as soon as you get the upper hand from the, like after the second scrum, then you start seeing the doubt. You start feeling in a scrum as well, like how the, they start playing checks and finding new ways to actually like the uh, dis disempower you. If that's a word. <laughs> and yeah, and I think yeah, for me that's when you start seeing the doubt, and that's when you know you're not. I have them. Yeah. When they start faking injuries, then you yeah, know. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Very interesting. Uh, have you had the chance to look at last year's World Cup final and take the points? Yeah, yeah, obviously, like I, I, I had the maybe I can't say that, but I watched the I, <laughs> I watched the game over a couple of times, and specifically as well what Peter Step did. So it's a good question. I, I definitely did that, but I'm I'm gonna learn from him. My game is not this uh, exactly the same as his, and uh, we're on the field at the same time, so we're gonna be doing different roles. Um, but I learn a lot from him. And it's just, uh, it just gives you a lot of confidence to have guys like uh, Peter Steve uh, on the field with you. Uh, Alex, um, what is your approach to, to handling the, the Haka? Can you 
facing it? What goes through your mind? I think for me, it's like a moment where I get to actually think about what, what my job is on the field. Because, I mean, it's you have to also respect it. It's, it's like the New, New England culture. And for you, you have to think, you know, your next job and how do, how do you actually get yourself into the best position? What's the next job from here? And, you know, being the best you can. Because I think that's a moment where you can actually say, you know what, this is actually like, these are people showing pride for their country. And what are you going to do to show pride for your country? Like, you understand, and stand up for your country. So it lifts you. Yeah, you know, it, it lifts you. It gets you in the moment where you have to decide. It's your end. I think our uh, our focus has just been this test, obviously, and we don't like we like we don't really focus much on what has happened, but like what has maybe what has recently happened. Like I mean, you think the last time we played the All Blacks was in the World Cup final, so they'll be definitely hurting, and they're gonna come guns blazing for us. They're not thinking, you know what? Uh, it's been ten years since they they like we've 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 lost against them or whatever, but they'll be thinking about the last time we played these guys was in the World Cup final and they they need to, they're gonna come out and seek blood. Oh, so how much difference is the challenge that the Blacks faced last compared to other sides or Australia on those sides? I think the all blacks say obviously have the individual side of X factor. But the uh, thing they do really well is the basics. They Actually, you can see even when you analyze the team is like they they get to a point where they like perfected their basics and you just have uh, like even when they're tired, the thing they go back to is basics and I think that's the hardest thing about them is that they have checks and all of that but like when when things get tough they go back to basics and I think that's probably the hardest thing compared to most other teams where other teams will try to individually like obviously try their own checks but they you know, she just. The, the harder it gets, the more they come together and actually we focus on their process and basics. Hey, so, um, Jason, you could have been an imprint in the week, like this, especially for some of us. What do you learn from it? Then this weekend, what have you learned from the time that it's going to be in the bomb camp and it's for team in general? Uh, yeah, but specific, specifically. Yeah. Um, I think something that stood out to me from yeah, from a conversation that I had with him early for my time uh, in the first couple of weeks in the camp was was asking about his his, uh, his uh, getting up for games and his hunger to his competitivity and his his, uh, his his desire to win and he said like as he as he plays as he gets gets more experience he he, he, desire, he gets more hungry to win and and more passionate about uh, winning those matches so I just think it's about um, the the art with which he plays, you know, he has his art on his sleeve. You know, you can even see the way that he celebrates um, uh, small moments and big moments when we get a win. So that's kind of like you feed off that energy and and also just his 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 passion to to give his best um, uh, for the team. Yeah. Jason, speaking of uh, Eben, uh, you passed today, so he's on the bench. Uh, before that, you were. The lock replacement. Um, were you? Have, have, do you feel like you dodged the bullet, not getting uh, potentially going a bit closer to the front row, or were you a bit disappointed? I guess it just it simpl simplifies my job a little bit, but um, yeah, I, I am uh, um, working on on having full confidence to to fulfil that role. But maybe it is good that that uh, there is a bit more time for me to prepare. Does, does it give you more sort of um, last sort of ready into the tank of the knowledge that is there and that she just tells also there obviously so your your backup and the sense effectively already on the field. I mean you can really do that. Yeah, definitely. It gives me a lot of confidence in that sense. And just just one just one other thing is you 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 arrived after the sort of the right era of the last one price. So have you ever played against since before the fake thing? Um I I have only played uh, against uh, on a twenty team. In the Junior World Cup, 2018. So we played them in the third and fourth playoffs. That's the only all-black team we played. Okay, so that's the first experience. Of the team. Awesome.
I think it's helped me a lot because we, I mean, he's since my first hour of school, he's been coaching me. So we've built quite a like solid relationship and, you know, he, he knows what I can do in the hard work that I've actually put in. And I know I can trust him. And whatever criticism, criticism he gives me, I can always take a like on the chin because I know he's actually being genuine and honest and wants to see me you know, do the best I can or be the best I can be. Um, uh, um, a lot of you guys who just have uh, been to this to see if you have not to do this. Maybe just uh, what would you attribute to the level that you found since the first time experience? Um, I think there's a couple of things. The one thing is it's a very welcoming environment. So since I've joined, uh, I thought it was going to be more tense. <laughs> And it's actually relaxed among the players and everything. Obviously, it gets tense when you prepare and, and uh, big weeks like this. But it's among the players, it's relaxed and, and uh, you build a relationship and it's a, it's a good time. Um, another thing is, is just I have to give glory to God. Uh, it's been uh, a lot of grace that I've experienced, you know. Obviously, you prepare a lot and you try to get yourself on a physically on a level that uh, you can perform. Yeah, and when you get here, you know, it feels like... There's a lot of things that left you to to be to perform on that level. So uh, all the support as well, um, but just glory to God as well. Uh, let's take the last question here from Dennis. Um, can you tell us more about yourself, your background, and what you did in football? Also, how happy you were how the last few months to explain? Yeah, um, for the rest first team, they went unbeaten this year, if anybody didn't know. <laughs> No, I'm very, very, um, very happy. I, I was involved with a bit of uh, coaching at the, you know, the junior teams, the grade nine teams, and I enjoyed it a lot. And just to see how, how much fun they have and uh, with how much freedom they play, it's inspiring. And yeah, I came from there. You know, it's been some of the best days at school playing rugby with with mates. Um, and uh, yeah, just happy to see them do well. Did you want to connect I think definitely so. I think it's a very great challenge. Want you know, as you as you intensity in physicality, physicality brings in another span of part. I guess all of them Terugstaan of hulle sal as hulle moe graag bykie uitbekkie. Ek dink die All Blacks is so span nie. Hulle gaan vir jou 80 minuut van rugby gee, gee waar jy op jou beste moet wees. So ek dink is een baie groot challenge en, en uh, dis een waarvoor ek, uh, soos ek gesê, het wekie nouwe is, maar baie opgewonde ook is. DJ, um, jy wil baie gepeerd hulle met die bestemd op jou. Dank jy, um, baie teken met 28 tekels in die wereld, en dat is dat kan wat tref wat jy met die man op die span. Um, ek laat baie tackles doen um, die tackles maak of het, het lyk maar so dit het gebeur man so in a game maar wat hy gedoen het in die World Cup ek weet nie of ek gauw daarby uit gaan kom <laughs> so uh, dit is net lekker om, om deel te wees van een span waar, waar, waar man is gespeeters te hef en nie weer die backs wat ons ook het en die, en die forwards, visies of forwards um, hard werk in a slim forwards um, is lekker om deel van so'n groep te wees en uh, En uh, dit, dit, dit lig hier nogal. So, ek gaan ek my beste gaan geef en kijk wat gebeur. Is dit Arabashaba <laughs> 
He has like as much as he is quiet, but when it's time to work, he goes. He is as as hard as any South African, I know, and he works hard and he is like he has a presence on the field. As as, as though, even though like off the field when you meet him, he's chill guy, pretty quiet, but yeah, he knows what to do and can get get it can get the job done. 